We've been wrestling with large language models, using them in a variety of business contexts and getting familiar with the shortcomings. Now, we're still major fans of large language models, love them for what they're good at, and we also are getting increasingly clear-eyed about where they fall short. The promise and the value are undeniable, but also the cracks around the edges start to show, and in some cases, the emperor really has no clothes. I run into persistent errors of multiple types. Some are logical, some are cognitive fallacies, and others are weird, persistent habits. I'm actually doing a massive project right now to document them, and I plan to publish the most comprehensive paper on some of these large language model shortcomings in the specific categories of error. The research that you've been doing there has been really compelling to me. They're very loosey-goosey and cerebral. They're not grounded. What I see is just a general tapering off of the improvements of large language models. The scaling laws aren't panning out. We're not getting exponential improvements anymore. We're getting incremental improvements. And you're just going to see that asymptotic relationship. I'm happy if that happens. Like if the rate of increase of ability plateaus here for a little, or at least slows down, we have plenty of work to catch up on. Like we've got a decade's worth of customer improvements and huge ROI to deliver on.